more than 2,000 miles away. That's unbelievable, Kyle. Yeah, it is, Tracy. It's a story that's really unfolding here, and it's the question we're trying to figure out. And while we're looking for answers on how she got here, one tiny piece of technology is shedding light on where she's from, and we're learning how she's getting home. She got out when trick-or-treaters were coming. Of the nine lives that some say cats have, the journey on this one for Spice is probably the trip of a lifetime. So she went missing October 31st and showed up and was found in Portland, Maine on November 5th. So how she got to Portland from New Mexico in those five days is, is quite the mystery to us here. She was found in a duffel bag with cat food and cat litter with no tags. And that was all the Animal Refuge League knew about the stray until they finished checking her in. Luckily, Spice has a microchip, and that connected us to her owner in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The Animal Rescue League sees 4,000 animals a year, and more than half of them are strays. If they sneak out, if they get lost, um, a microchip is definitely the, the fastest way that we can reunite your animal with you. And getting it done can be a challenging task. With no money on her and no real way back home, Spice is getting a gift from one local company for the holidays. It was a miracle story, uh, but the miracle needed to be completed. John Ayers is the CEO know, of IDEX and volunteered to cover Spice's trip back home along with a companion to make sure she gets there safely. Plus, a little something extra she'll need before she can go. IDEX is also going to be providing uh, uh, supporting any veterinary care that Spice has. Spice has a little kitty cold, and we want to make sure that she's healthy before she makes the trip. With her health on the mend and a trip back home to look forward to, Spice could be on her way back west in just a few weeks. Now, the Animal, Animal Rescue League says Spice's owner wants to remain anonymous for now. We may learn who she is once Spice returns home after the Thanksgiving travel season. But an important point is to make sure both your cats and your dogs are microchipped, and it can be done right at your vet's office. Live in the studio, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.